The historic Luhan House conference room in Haganya was packed with cultural preservation stakeholders for the unveiling of Guampedia's archaeology of the Marianas project. This massive online collection of archaeological essays and images was done through a partnership with the Guam Preservation Trust, Guampedia, and the Micronesian Area Research Center. Guampedia content editor Dominica Tolentino says the project took a year to plan. It basically translates the technical jargon from archaeological reports done from the 1950s and up about pre-Spanish Guam and the Marianas into an easy-to-read format. So this was really an opportunity, a good opportunity for archaeologists to connect with our community to learn more about uh, you know, what Chamorros were like, what did they eat, how did they fish, where did they live, what kinds of houses did they put together. Things that uh, most people here you know, don't, I mean, and I have to admit, I myself, you know, was a lot unfamiliar with a lot of this material. Guam Preservation and, Trust uh, Chief uh, Program Officer Joe Kinata also says it was only natural his organization helped support with these investigations contained for the rest of the island and online communities. Uh, the Guam Preservation Trust has always been uh, an advocate uh, to providing access uh, of such information to the people of Guam. Guam Museum curator Tony Ramirez mentions the museum also contributed to this online project, providing pictures, artifacts, and illustrations to the Guampedia team. He adds this is a great resource for younger generations to learn more about Guam's rich past and wants to see the new Guam Museum's educational resources expand in a similar way. This would be a good model for us to uh, develop, you know, as we, uh, you know, we build a new Guam Museum. But definitely uh, our museum is going to be very much education oriented. And so, you know, any kind of resource like uh, that Guam, Guampedia is produce again, then maybe we could add to that effort.